Welcome back to my channel, I'm James. Today I've got another exciting episode in my ongoing Must Own 4Ks video series. Today's episode is Top 10 Great Sports Movies on 4K Ultra HD, and these are must own 4Ks that everybody needs to have in their collection. These are of the greatest films that are released on 4K in the best quality. Now, in this video series, I always share the qualifications before I dive into my top 10 countdown. So that way you understand what qualified and what didn't. But it always seems like I give these qualifications and then I get some random comment of somebody that completely ignored or didn't even watch this part explaining why certain of these titles are in here versus other titles. So if one of the movies you thought of isn't in here, this is the reason for it. So first off is, they had to be amazing, outstanding 4K image and sound quality. So I went through over the last week, as I always do with this video series, I dived into and tested every single one of the 4Ks that made it into this top 10 countdown. Now, I tested all the ones that didn't make it in as well, which is why it takes me so much extra time and work to make these top 10 countdowns. So these truly are must own titles. There was numerous ones that didn't make it into it. For example, some honorable mentions. Space Jam on 4K Ultra HD. It has a great Dolby Atmos audio mix and it is a native 4K with HDR10. I very much enjoy this transfer and it looks very good, but all of the rest of the titles in this beat this one out. Another honorable mention was Days of Thunder with Tom Cruise. A great sports racing movie. I really enjoyed this transfer. And it's a native 4K with Dolby Vision and HDR10. Really enjoyed it, but again, the top 10 that are in this list beat out both of these. Now there was a couple others that I did want to include, but I didn't include them for one reason. A lot of people get upset when I include titles that have been out of print for several years and you can't get anymore on 4K. So there was a few that actually had really great image and sound quality that simply I didn't include because of the fact that you can't get them anymore without spending hundreds of dollars to get a single 4K movie. So I disqualified those simply because in previous must own videos that I've done in this series, people have been very disappointed and upset because they can't add them to their collection anymore. Basically, I didn't want it to be of titles that nobody can buy anymore, which there was quite a few of them that were really good releases, but I couldn't find them anywhere for less than literally two to $300 for a single 4K movie. So therefore, I just didn't put those in this either. Now, it's always very important if you're wanting to buy any of these 4K releases after you get done watching this video, just like with Space Jam or Days of Thunder, I put all the direct Amazon sale links as a pinned comment in the comment section right below this video. Those links down there are very important to the creation of these videos. And the only way I can put in all this work and time into creating all these videos is through you, my viewers and subscribers support through clicking on those direct Amazon sale links right down there below. So make sure if after you get done watching this top 10 countdown, you decide you want to buy or add any of these amazing releases to your collection, always go down and use those direct Amazon sale links I pinned right down there below. Now coming in at number 10 in my top 10 great sports movies on 4K countdown is American Underdog from 2021. Now this is a native 4K 2160p. It has Dolby Vision and HDR10 on it and it has a very immersive, strong and clear Dolby Atmos audio mix. The football scenes in this, man does it have some very good use of the height channels. Overall the image is very stunningly impressive. Very, very nice transfer. You'll be very impressed with this. I will tell you this is a release that came out a couple of years ago that really wasn't talked about. It's a sports film that's very inspirational. Now, it does have a lot of things from the side of Kurt Warner, if you know the story of him. He was actually working in a supermarket in Iowa, which was by where I used to live a long time ago. So I had a personal like, kind of connection to this film as far as that goes, but he was working at a supermarket at an older age. He ends up becoming, working up and becoming a Hall of Fame football quarterback and it's a very inspirational story. I mean, it has a lot of good things having to do with his family. I think the acting in it is very good. The story is one of those that I recommend everybody checking out. Now, me having personal religious beliefs and things, I really appreciate the story even more, but regardless of whether you do or don't, the story itself is one of those really good football stories about somebody that really basically never thought of stardom or becoming famous or becoming something big, but just enjoyed the sport itself and basically became a Hall of Fame quarterback that is really awesome to see. And honestly, the story of it will really surprise you. Now, I did dive into and test out the rough average bitrate for all of you. 
This has an extremely high, healthy and strong 90 megabits per second, which lends to why it has such a nice image with depth and detail and is a must own, must buy 4K release that everybody needs to have in their collection. The story will surprise you, it'll touch your heart. It has one of those stories that involves the family that you really feel connected to every character in the film, let alone the image and sound quality in that Dolby Atmos are a very nice treat on this. And I'm telling you, this is one of those 4K transfers that is a must own, must buy 4K release that you must have in your collection. Story alone is worth watching, but also this 4K release is one of those really cool ones that really just kind of got skipped by most people because they didn't even know it was ever released. Now coming in at number nine is Robert Redford's The Natural. Now, as most of you know that have followed me for a while, I love baseball. It's my favorite sport of all time. This is one of those baseball films that is really well done. It harkens back to the classic films and the classic era of filmmaking. You sit back and watch this and you really feel like you're watching a masterpiece. It's got such amazing camera lenses and filters and the cinematography in this is absolutely beautiful. There are so many cool scenes that you sit back and say, wow, it's just a very pretty looking film. Thankfully on this, it got a native 4K 2160p transfer with HDR10 and Dolby Atmos, and it has the nice natural film grain from beginning to end. There are slight fluctuations throughout it, but overall it's such a beautifully filmic looking image that lends to why it has such a just classic baseball feeling. And it's a wonderful baseball story about Roy Hobbs, who starts off his baseball career at a young age and he gets shot. It's a tragedy, he gets shot. It derails his career for 16 years. 16 years later, he comes back and gets into professional baseball again. And it's about the story, the triumphant return of what he does and how he comes back to playing the sport he loves. All the elements in it, as I said, are beautifully done. I will tell you the Dolby Atmos audio mix on this is absolutely sublime. You will have things where you will hear birds overhead. They use the hype channels very well. There's a lot of things like where camera flashes and the bulbs, how they would like pop. You can hear those all over and it's used through the height channels really well. All of the effects that they use for the Dolby Atmos in this are very immersive and it is a very enjoyable audio mix. And I can't recommend the film enough. It is one of those films you'll go back to year after year and watch over and over again. And like I said, that cinematography is something to enjoy. Now I did dive into and test out the rough average bitrate for all of you as well. On this, it has a high and healthy 66 megabits per second. It's very good, lends to why it has such a nice image throughout it. And there's one extra treat that Sony did for this release. They gave us both the director's cut and the theatrical cut restored on the 4K disc. They didn't relegate one of the cuts to a Blu-ray. They're both included on the 4K disc in the set. So you can enjoy either cut of the film. Director's cut's my personal favorite, but they're both included on the 4K disc for this, which is a nice added bonus. This is one of those must own, must buy releases you've got to have in your collection and experience. If you have not seen this film yet, you will enjoy this sports film because it's got so many big actors throughout it. Glenn Close is in it and it's done so well and harkens back to classic filmmaking. I absolutely love this film. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down and give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now coming in at number eight is Varsity Blues from 1999. Now I just recently did an advanced review comparing the 4K versus the previous Blu-ray release image comparisons. That is available right now here on this channel. If you want my full in-depth analysis on the quality of this 4K release, you can check that video out right now here on this channel. But this film itself is a great high school football comedy with drama mixed in about the perils and dangers of only wanting to win that you don't care what harm it does to others. And it's really done in a great sense of adding comedy with obviously the drama done with really good sense throughout it. There's some really good actors in this and I really do enjoy all of them earlier on in their careers really lended to this film. How many amazing actors were really in this that went on to do many other things. And I will say it's one of those films that you'll sit back year after year and say, man, it's such an enjoyable comedy and drama all mixed together wonderfully well in a great 4K package. And I previously dived into and tested the rough average bitrate out and it has a healthy 69 megabits per second, 
Lens to wide has such a nice 4K transfer. I will tell you the Dolby Vision was my preferred way to watch this film. And I'll tell you the depth and detail when you watch my 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison. You'll be very surprised at the depth and detail that's present on this 4K compared to the previous poor Blu-ray transfer. This comes in at number eight, another must buy film you're going to want to have in your collection. Doesn't cost very much either. I put all the direct Amazon sailings for every single one of these as a pinned comment in the comment section right below. So any of these you don't have in your collection yet that you want to add to your collection, make sure to go down and use those direct Amazon sailings right down there below. Make sure to go down and start the conversation in the comment section below and let me know what of these do you already own on 4K and what of these are you excited to add to your collection that you don't own yet? Make sure to start that conversation down there below. I always love to hear from each and every one of you. Now coming in at number seven is a cult classic film Bloodsport from 1988. This is one of those 80s films that has grown a massive cult following over the years. And I understand why, because I really enjoy this Van Damme film. I will tell you, it has some great martial arts. It is a very enjoyable film. And it just recently got a new 4K scan and restoration of its original 35 millimeter camera negative. I can tell you this 4K is a native 4K 2160p and it has both Dolby Vision and HDR10+. Plus. It's not very often we hear HDR10 Plus being used anymore. It's got both of those available on this disc. Now let me tell you between both of them, they are both very good looking. They implemented the Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus extremely well into this new 4K restoration. Brilliant whites, inky blacks, no black crush. Skin tones, color grading, and everything on this look outstanding compared to every previous home video release. I was shocked at the quality on this 4K release. Now, it is available in numerous editions. I bought the limited edition Steelbook set. I really like it. It's embossed on here. It says Bloodsport. On the side, it says Bloodsport again, MGM. And then obviously it has the other characters on the back. I really do like the limited edition Steelbook. There is media book releases as well. I will post each of the links for what's available and what's still available of all of these limited edition sets as a pinned comment in the comment section below. So I'll put the media books as well if that's more your thing. I personally love the limited edition Steelbook. But let me tell you the good news doesn't stop there for this release. We also got a very immersive and very strong Dolby Atmos audio mix. They did a very good job. Of There's it. numerous things that will really surprise you. Like there was even a scene where somebody was kicking overhead and you hear the foot whoosh over the height channels. I really was surprised because I didn't expect that and there's numerous things that they used and implemented it that really did bring a smile to my face and I enjoyed every ounce of it. I was amazed at how good of a job they did on this 4K release, especially for a film that's a cult classic 80s film that to be honest I really didn't ever see us getting on 4K. But man, is it a great sports martial arts film. Now, is everything 100% realistic in it? Supposedly it's based on a true story. But I'm sure a lot of it's expanded on because if you've seen this, there's some of these things that get kind of blown out of proportion, but it is supposedly a true sports story. That's about a martial arts kickboxing festival that's underground. Kumite, basically it's all about survival of whoever can survive of basically kicking the crap out of each other and basically all these people that come together in this underground festival and it's got so many over the top there's one liners in it and it has some great action in it if you know Van Damme you know what you're getting in for and this is one of his highlights of his career and I did dive into and test out the rough average bitrate for this you get a high healthy and strong 81 megabits per second, another wow experience as you're figuring out with all of the titles in this video, lends to why it looks so outstanding. And this is one of those region free sets, so you'll be able to enjoy this no matter where you live worldwide. I'll put the direct Amazon sale link for every version that's available of this. That way you can choose whether you want certain cover artwork, media book, or steel book like what I got. But I will tell you this is a more expensive limited edition set because of the time and work that was done by a smaller studio getting the rights from MGM and working on the restoration. This is a more expensive 4K release, so keep that in mind. It truly is a limited edition release. Once it's gone, it'll be gone eventually. But it's a pretty darn cool cult classic 80s film. And let me tell you, you will enjoy this must-own 4K release. Both image and sound, you'll really be impressed with. And I'm thankful this was finally released on 4K. The work they did on this is stunning compared to all the previous transfers. 
you'll be blown away at what you're watching and seeing with the depth and detail in this. I was really surprised with what we got out of this. And this great 80s sports film easily earned its spot at number seven as a must buy, must own 4K release. Now, coming in at number six is Rocky the Knockout Collection. Now, I previously did a 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison review here on this channel. It's available right now for you to check out all the data on this set. I will tell you, I really enjoy the story. I actually love how Rocky basically rises to the top. He fails, he rises again. It's really the story of just persevering through tough times and things that don't go your way, but you still fight for what you believe in and what you want to accomplish. I feel like the story grows on me the older I get because I more relate to Rocky's basically thought process of basically he's still pushing through all the hard things that are going on and I really feel they're inspiring boxing films. I love this sport, I love the boxing element of it, and I love the Rocky films. This collection is one of those that if you're a sports fan at all or if you just like good drama with sports mixed together in a wonderful story, You've got to experience the Rocky films and these 4K releases are the best way to experience them. Now, for the four films in this set, they ran from 1976 to 1985. Now, I can tell you I previously dived into in that video and shared the rough average bitrate, which is 66 megabits per second to 84 megabits per second throughout the films. It lends to why they have so much more depth and detail in them and lends to why they are such a nice 4K transfer. Dolby Vision, HDR10, you can't go wrong with owning the Rocky 4K collection. It is one of those must own, must buy 4K releases that's of great sports films. Even if you don't like boxing and you just like drama and kind of a really good story, you'll enjoy them. Once you start watching them, you go through Rocky, Rocky 2, II, Rocky 3, they just keep building. And I really feel like overall add to just a wonderful universe that they built for these Rocky films. These are great 4K releases you'll really come back to year after year. And you'll be very glad you have these in your collection. Now, if you wanna check out any of the previous videos in this must own, must buy video series, it's where I dive into and test them out and come up with lists of 80s top movies, 90s top movies, part one and part two. We've got 80s horror. We've got alternative superhero movies, war movies. I have done dozens of these top movie lists. So that way, you know, depending on genre or decade, what of these films you really need to have in your collection. So that way you can build yourself an amazing collection of films that every one of these you have them in your collection, you can show off some amazing films by picking any of these and watching them. People will sit back and say, wow, I'm impressed with the visuals, the audio. Overall, a very enjoyable and amazing experience on every one of these 4K releases and all these top countdown videos that I've done. So if you wanna check out any of these previous videos in this video series, they're available all right now here on this channel. So when you get done, I'll tag some at the end of this video, but you can go in, there's a playlist on this channel as well, that if you go to that playlist, it has them all listed out. You can just watch one after the other and go through all of these countdowns to let you know what of all of these that you need to have in your collection. Now, getting into the top five, we are coming in at number five with Gran Turismo from 2023. This is a sports racing film that's based on a true story it's a very interesting and very entertaining true story about a video gamer that basically is working at a low level job and wins a competition to go and try out to become an actual athlete that races in real races. It's kind of done as a sports publicity stunt, but they actually realize that they found a real racer that actually has talent. It's such a really good true story that will really entertain and surprise you. And let me tell you, the native 4K image with Dolby Vision and HDR10 on this is simply stunning to behold. Depth and detail are absolutely shocking. It is one of those reference quality sound and image quality 4K releases. And the Dolby Atmos on this is reference quality, extremely immersive. You'll be blown away with the LFE as well as the amazing use of the height channels. Your height channels will get an extreme workout with this 4K release. There are so many things with cars and things exploding and just all of your home theater audio system will get an extreme workout with this 4K release. Sony did an outstanding job with this image and the Dolby Atmos on this. It'll really make you just go, wow. And for the rough average bitrate on this, I tested that for all of you. 
it's got an extremely high, healthy and strong 84 megabits per second. Lends to why, like I said, its image is so stunning from beginning to end. You can use this 4K to show off your high-end home theater system. Both image and sound quality will shock people how good this looks and sounds. Can't recommend this one enough simply for checking out how amazing it looks and sounds, but you'll sit back and say to yourself, man, I can't believe how entertaining of a story it is either. I didn't expect it to be as entertaining as it was. So you get a great sports film about racing. That's a true story along with reference quality, image and sound quality that will blow you away and blow away your home theater system. Now I put the direct Amazon sale link down there below if you decide you're gonna buy and add this to your collection now, but I will tell you, there's a lot of people that missed out on this and have not experienced this yet. You'll be shocked and how amazing it truly is. Now coming in at number four is a personal favorite of mine, Raging Bull, with Robert De Niro, directed by Martin Scorsese, which it's one of those classic films that honestly came out in 1980, but it has such a classic styling with the black and white filmmaking that Martin Scorsese did for this. This brand new 4K digital restoration they did for this is simply beautiful for a black and white film. Natural film grain, depth and detail will very much surprise you in this. For this Criterion Collection 4K restoration, it is a native 4K 2160p and it has HDR10 on it, which was implemented very good. It has brilliant whites, inky blacks, no black crush. You can see depth and detail in this black and white film extremely well. It's actually surprising for a black and white film. But remember, it was specifically filmed that way by Martin Scorsese in 1980 because he was trying to preserve the film itself. You see, they thought colorized film was starting to deteriorate faster. And if you watch the special features on this, there's a really entertaining talking about the reason he chose to film this in black and white. Specifically, he wanted the film to last for a long time, and he thought by not doing it in color, it would last longer, which it did at the time, but that was before all of the new technology for film restoration had come about. So he did things differently. It lends to why it has such a cool feeling for a boxing film. Now, the restoration they did was approved and supervised by Martin Scorsese himself. It's a personal love letter that he did to boxing. He loves this film. He loves everything about it. He loved everything about the true story about Jake LaMotta, the middleweight boxing champ. Basically, he's not a super nice guy and it goes into the drama of his life and then how amazing he was in the boxing ring, kind of contrasting all the things between what he did in his life, how he boxed, and then how he basically had people that tried to help him and he just wasn't a nice guy. And it's really interesting to watch. You'll find yourself engrossed by the film because all the people that will help him along the way and then he kind of just, he slaps a lot of them in the face. And overall, it is one of those great boxing films you've got to experience. This is the only way you should ever watch this film though. The restoration for this is simply stunning to behold. I didn't think I'd ever see the depth and detail like the little sweats coming off of his hairs as he's boxing on his face. You can see so much depth and detail that you never saw in any release of this film ever before. Now, talking about the rough average bitrate I tested out, this has a shockingly high, healthy and strong 92 megabits per second. Criterion Collection did an outstanding job, not over compressing it on the 4K disc, giving it plenty of room to breathe. For this film, this is the best we're ever gonna get out of this. If you don't own this yet, this is a must buy, must own film you've gotta have in your collection. And let me tell you, it's got a pretty darn thick book in here as well to read, which I really enjoyed. You'll be amazed by the special features as well as the book that's so entertaining to read in this. It goes so well together to make this one of those really cool, awesome sets. Now, coming in at number three, is Field of Dreams from 1989. Now this Kevin Costner film is one of my favorites. I've watched it over and over again, maybe 30 times in my lifetime. I can tell you I know every little hidden thing about the film. Obviously the film itself was filmed in Iowa and it does have history, like I said, some of the other films I talked about that tie back to Iowa, a place I used to live in many years ago. But I will tell you it's about following your dreams even when people think you're crazy. And Kevin Costner plays the character of Ray, the farmer, that hears, if you build it, they will come. And he keeps hearing this and believing he should build a baseball field in the middle of his cornfield, in the middle of nowhere, Iowa. It's such an inspirational story of him doing this and something amazing happening. 
that you never thought you'd ever see. Man, does it give you just those real warm, cozy feeling every time you watch this, the music, the acting, just the feeling of what they were building with the story behind this, combining baseball with dreams and fantasy and living out some of our dreams and fantasies that we never got to when we become adults. The older I've got, the more connected I feel to this film because Kevin Costner's character is basically living out dreams in his mind that he didn't get to do because he's a farmer and he's gotten older in life. I really love that sense of it and that side of it. I can tell you for this 4K release from Universal, they did a great job with the restoration. It's a native 4K 2160p. It has HDR10 on it, which is implemented beautifully. And it has a very immersive and strong DTS-X audio mix. The second you sit down to watch this, you'll be amazed at how it simply annihilates the previous Blu-ray transfers. Every area, audio and image quality, simply annihilates the poor Blu-ray transfers before. Skin tones, colors, sound quality. You sit there just kind of in awe at how beautiful of a film it is in the first place, but then with what they did for this 4K release, you really just say, wow, they really provided us something as film fans. We can sit back, get the natural film grain, looks beautiful from beginning to end and sounds beautiful. And it's such a beautiful baseball classic about fulfilling and pursuing your dreams even in the face of people making fun of you. And that's why I love the film. Now I did test the rough average bitrate for all of you. It has a healthy and strong 67 megabits per second. Again, lending to why it's such an outstanding 4K release. Must buy, must own film you've gotta have. If you have not watched this film yet, I don't know what you're doing because this is one of those that everybody needs to see and everybody needs to have in their collection. Now, coming in at number two on my top 10 great sports movies on 4K Ultra HD countdown is Rudy on 4K Ultra HD. This is in a limited edition Steelbook release. Sony did a brand new 4K restoration of this film and they didn't just do it for one cut of the film. They actually did it for the special director's cut of the film along with the theatrical cut, both contained on the 4K disc, not leaving out one cut, and that director's cut has never been released previously before. I will tell you the director's cut is extremely good. It actually adds a lot of elements that weren't in the theatrical cut. Though I will tell you a personal story about this film. Now the film did come out in 1993 and I can tell you my dad took me to Notre Dame when they were filming this. He was a huge Notre Dame fan. I really appreciate the film for that. There's numerous memories I have of going to actually see this at Notre Dame when it premiered and there was a bunch of the actors there. I really enjoy the film itself. Rudy is one of those heart touching tales about somebody basically too small to play football, but they just worked so darn hard and had so much heart. And it's about overcoming adversity and keeping a good attitude throughout all of it, which is hard to do because there were so many things that came up that kept telling him he would never be on the field. He'd never join the team. He'd never play football for Notre Dame's Fighting Irish. And he just had such a heart and desire to truly do it that he fought no matter what. He put his body on the line. He put his heart and soul to get on the team. And I will tell you this story will make you tear up with how inspirational it is. I love the filmmaking behind it. This 4K restoration is beautiful. I'm amazed we got this from Sony. It was one of those very surprising 4K releases that I didn't see us ever getting. The fact that they did it for the director's cut that's never been released and for the theatrical cut, both on 4K as native 4K 2160p with an amazing Dolby Vision and HDR10 Master. Dolby Vision was the clear winner on this, but I will tell you they are both beautiful to behold. Blows away the previous Blu-ray transfers in every area, but we also got an amazingly immersive, clean and clear Dolby Atmos audio mix, which provided a stunningly beautiful looking and sounding 4K release that I was very surprised and happy with. Now I will tell you, this is a limited edition release. They are not releasing this in a standard 4K case at all. Sony was very specific on this. This is a limited edition release only. Once this sells out, it will go out of print and it won't be available. Sony is known for that. They release these limited edition steelbooks. Once they're gone, they're gone. Every blue moon, they will pick a random title to reprint one time, but they do not do it for all of their titles. Now, rough average bitrate wise, we get another surprising treat. High, healthy, and extremely strong, 86 megabits per second. Sony did not disappoint. 
on that area either. Amazing Atmos, amazing Dolby Vision HDR10, amazing native 4K, amazing rough average bitrate. You can't miss out on this film if you have not seen this classic 90s film. You're missing out on a hidden gem. I cannot recommend this film enough. You need to buy this and add this to your collection as a must-own release. You will come back here and thank me and say, wow, I never experienced this film and now I love this film. That is how good this is. You will say this is one of your favorite sports classics going forward. This is one of those hidden gems that is a wonderful story. Again, must buy limited edition set. Do not miss out on this. You'll kick yourself later on if you did not add this to your collection. Now, coming in at number one, my favorite of these great sports films is the Karate Kid 3 film collection. Every single film in this sports martial arts underdog story about basically putting your heart on the line, training to try to become the best in martial arts, competing, and basically having things constantly happen that basically knock you down. And even though I'm a long shot, I'm gonna put my heart out there and fight to be the best no matter what. I can tell you the chemistry between the cast in this film is wonderful. 1984 to 1989, they have amazing music, heart and soul behind these films that is just not replicated these days. If you've not experienced these films yet, they got native 4K transfers that I previously reviewed on this channel. That full in-depth analysis is available right now. It's a must buy, must own set, though I will tell you it's a limited edition set. So I'll put the links for what are available of these. There's numerous of them that are limited edition region free sets and I'll put those down there below. But I will tell you right now, there's only a few select retailers that even have them available anymore. I'll post the ones that have the sale links down there through Amazon. There's several of them that still have them available, but they're few and far between. So don't miss out on owning this collection because it's a native 4K transfer that is stunning with Dolby Atmos that is incredibly immersive and the Dolby Vision and HDR10 were done extremely well. Depth and detail, gorgeous on it. I just can't tell you how many times I've watched these and I keep going back to these sports films and say, man, I absolutely love the feeling you get from these. Now I did test out the rough average bitrate for all of you. For each of the films in this box set, they have a rough average bitrate range of a high, healthy, and strong 69 megabits per second to 86 megabits per second. Lends to why you have such a beautiful image. It has the natural film grain, very filmic looking from beginning to end. Every single one of the films in this box set. These are unmissable. You must have these in your collection. Now, it's always very important. If you're gonna buy or add any of these limited edition releases or any of these from these must-own videos, make sure to go down and use those direct Amazon sale links I posted right down there below for you. Those links down there never cost you a penny extra, but they're very important to the continued creation of all of these videos. Just like this video, it takes me a ton of time to go into test, get all the rough average bit rates, go through and compare image quality to all the other 4K releases of sports movies and compile them into these massive videos. So it's not something quick and easy. As I said for this video, it took me a full week to test and analyze all of these releases for all of you. So make sure if you're wanting to buy or add any of these to your collection, always use those direct Amazon sale links right down there below. If you wanna to help to support this channel even more, make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club. It costs you less than a couple of dollars every single month goes directly back into the creation of all of these videos. And the only way I can always do this is with all of you, my viewers and subscribers support through using those direct Amazon sale links down there below and joining my collector's VIP club. I can't say thank you enough. I've done this for years and I wanna always make sure I say thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I truly do mean thank you to each of you. It matters to me that all of you support this and that I can continue to do this. I get to share the love of films and filmmaking with all of you every week. And this is one of those that I really had a fun time doing. There's so many great sports films that you really don't want to miss out on owning. And this gives you a starting point. There are other ones that are great ones you'll want to have in your collection in the future. I might do a follow-up video if this does well enough, but this is something that gives you a starting point of some great sports films that are amazing, must own 4K transfers and sound quality. So as you go through getting all these from these top video series that I've created, you'll have a really amazing collection. I'll post a bunch of the videos for more of these in my top collection video series. So that way you can go and watch those. If you start collecting each of these, you'll have amazing quality 4Ks that you can show off 
And that starts to help you build your collection or if you don't own some of these already, it lets you add them to your collection. Now make sure to go down and start the conversation down there. Let me know what of these you already own or what of these you don't own yet. I'm really curious what of these you don't have in your collection that now you're excited to add to your collection. That's always something I look forward to hear from all of you. What of these have inspired you to get some of these films that you haven't checked out yet? Make sure to comment down below and let me know what of these films you have not experienced yet and you're excited to check out for the first time. As always, I truly hope every single one of you has a blessed day and I've always got something new, early, exclusive, and exciting coming out very soon.